Damien from Iron Jam here. It's uh, March 12th. Um, last uh, vlog I did was I was at the British Embassy in um, Tokyo. And obviously since then a lot of stuff has been going on. Um, I wanted to do another update um, actually yesterday. Just didn't have the time. Um, yeah. So uh, yesterday was the anniversary. And um, as planned we worked in the morning. Which I think was really nice. Um, some people disagreed and thought um, that oh you shouldn't work on, on on this day it's a day where you shouldn't do anything or just reflect and other people have this opinion blah, 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 blah. but um, as for for us we're volunteers and we've we've been doing volunteer work for so long that um, it was it's normal for us to work and um, you know there's it no more appropriate day than that in my opinion um, so we did that and then in the afternoon uh, we split up to go to different places. So some people went to uh, a certain ceremony here, and others went to a different one. And uh, I wasn't planning on going anywhere, because um, <clears throat> despite the amount of people who was all around, always around me, I quite liked being on my own. And um, I thought that I could have a, some nice time to reflect upon. But um, then some guys came back quite late from one job, which is a bit further away, and um, they didn't seem eager to go to any big busy memorial. So instead I took him somewhere which I haven't been to for quite a while which is on top of the mountain behind the university grounds where I used to camp and uh, that's got a view which kind of looks out over Ishinomaki um, it's, not a very, it's not a detailed view because you can see everything but um, it's just a beautiful view and so we went up there and um, we, got, we drove to the top of the mountain and when we are kind of walking to the summit there are some people, a few people there, not many, maybe about 20 and um, some of them started saying like Jamie, Jamie, hurry up! And I was like, no, who are these guys? And um, it was like a lot of the Whiskey Gogo guys. Uh, Whiskey Gogo being a, a Japanese uh, volunteer team, which I, I'd worked with a lot um, over the summer. And many of our members, know, I've worked with them too. And so it was just really nice to see them. Um, it was total coincidence. Um, but uh, as the, the leader, or the ex-leader, they've not broken up now, he said that uh, we just connected through our hearts. This is a joke, but maybe some truth to that. Um, yeah, it's been a whole year. Um, a year ago, I was in Osaka, maybe doing not a lot um, at all, just living my life normally. Um, now it's well, I'm living my life normally, but I'm not in Osaka, obviously, and I'm very happy now doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm a lot busier <laughs> and a lot more tired, but. Um, this is, this is great and I'm, I'm really happy to be uh, doing what I'm doing now. Um, so when we were on this mountain yesterday and kind of looking out, and this is this is a view which I, I saw pretty early on in June when I first came. And um, you know, from the top of the mountain you can't see a lot of difference. But the one thing you can see is a temporary housing. So like, just at the bottom of the mountain it looks like kind of solar panels. It's just row upon row upon row upon row. Of, temporary housing, there's actually like 4,000 people living in that big unit, so that's changed, um, and I guess a lot of things have changed here, um, maybe not necessarily for the better, but just, it's, it's we're slowly progressing, but it's really slow, so um, of course there's no real reconstruction yet, and by reconstruction I don't mean private homes, but I mean like you know, large scale kind of infrastructure change, like moving up a town, or erecting the very large tsunami walls which have been talked about um, which leaves this kind of feeling of limbo which isn't especially nice but um, when, I, when I look back over the last year it's very strange I'm, I'm very happy um, it's, it's been a wonderful thing to be able to help so many people and um, so many people have helped us help others um, if it wasn't for all the support of not only our members but just you know, us, kind of our supporters who follow from all over the world, and you know, sometimes they say, they'll send us money. Sometimes they'll send us nice messages, and you know, we really do look at them all, and it's it's really appreciated. Um, you know, I, I had no idea when I was camping in my tent that I was going to end up being an official MPO with many members and being able to do such great works. So I say, being a big thanks to, um, of course, all our members. You know, especially you know, Marcy, Manish, Masai, a huge amount of work. Um, and then all our regular volunteer members, I can't name everyone, 
but you know, if I say, you know, um, Mike, Naomi, Colin, Choco, Yippie, Stefan, Alex, Joe, uh, if, I, if I forget people's names, they're going to be angry. Um, well, M Mary, uh, Sabine, Anna, Andrew, I got everyone, and also all the people who we've, who we've worked with. Um, you know, people have been, they've, they've seen how we are and who we are. And uh, you know we're not, you know we don't, we don't come in with uh, kind of any bibs, and we're not any. You know, we are official, but we're not. We don't look that official. But people have given us a chance, and you know, we've worked together with many different groups, and it's been great to be able to you know, combine our efforts and help people, and it's been wonderful. And I'm really, really grateful to really for everyone. Um, obviously, there's a huge amount of work still needed. Uh, a huge, huge amount. Um, at the moment, you know, we, we, we're, we're in a, a position where we have to turn people away, which is a shame because well, many people want to come. I mean, I mean it, it's a shame to turn people away, but it's, it's so nice that there's such enthusiasm. People wanted to help. So I'm really, really grateful to all the, the coverage we've got from, you know, you know whether it's kind of a small local newspaper to a large national one, TV spots, internet, blog, everything. Just uh, thank you so much. Um, I mean, some guys, uh, one of our volunteers, Matthew, he volunteered with us for a weekend, and his girlfriend had been before. He decided to try and raise some money doing what he does, which is rapping. So he, 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 he kind of raps on YouTube, and I assume in other venues. And, and yesterday he broke the world record for like freestyle rap, which is you know, to kind of you have a beat and you just make a, you just, you just rap about anything. Um, but it's off the top of your head. It would have to be because he did it for like 14 hours. I mean, for one thing, his voice must be tired. But can you imagine just speaking for 14 hours, kind of in tune, has to rhyme? I mean, if you make a mistake, at, you know, <laughs> 10 hours and the record was at 12, that would that would suck. But would, thanks a lot, man. I mean, you know, everyone, just you know, thank you so much. Um, this this has just been a really lame. Thank you, thank you, thank you message. But this is just the feeling I have at the moment. Um, we, we're going to keep working hard. Please keep uh, following us and like our videos and retweet everything and share and all that stuff. And yeah, hopefully, um, you know, we can keep doing, not hopefully, we will keep on doing all the great stuff we've been doing so far. And uh, thanks for being a part of it. Cheers.